So I came here for CIMI to do my master's thesis. I'm a student from Belgium uh, and it's for my master's thesis that I'm doing a project here uh, of the adoption of conservation agriculture in the Bajio, that's in Mexico. Well, I've been here in uh, Mexico for three months. First six weeks we were in the field uh, in the states of Guanajuato and Michoacán to do uh, surveys with the farmers. And then afterwards, I was six weeks here in uh, Simit itself, in El Batan, Texcoco, to enter all the data. And then um, afterwards to analyze a little bit, uh, already a little bit, and already start uh, the reviewing my literature. For the first part uh, in our, um, so in fact, we did for our survey. So we um, surveyed the farmers uh, with a questionnaire. But also we visited their parcels to, well, first to mark their GPS coordinates, but also just to see in the field how the situation really is. For me, it was really interesting because you had the, like the social contact with the farmer. That's really important because yeah, you can uh, create a new technology that is so imp uh, promising, but if the farmer isn't adopting it, yeah then <laughs> it's not really good. Um, and also, well, you had also the, the contact with the, the, the farm itself, like the parcel, like you could see how the crops were grown, how the, the, manage, the agricultural management was. So that, for me, that was also really interesting and necessary, of course. Conservation agriculture is really uh, site-specific, especially the adoption of it. So it's really important that CIMIT works out the different hubs, so for the different agroecological zones, that uh, the system there is really um, adapted to what the farmer needs and what the farmer wants. And this hub system is, uh, is a new approach for to diffuse the technology because um, so in the hub system, um, it's CIMIT works together with uh, local technicians and they work together with the farmers. So in first instance, these technicians are really, really important to learn the farmers how, the, how CA works, what the principles are and um, how do you uh, use the ma uh, machinery and all that stuff. But then afterwards, it's also really important that these agriculturists, when they once apply the system and they're accustomed to it, that they also uh, learn it to other agriculturists. So it's a it's kind of new diffusion system, but it's it's really site specific and it's it's by farmers, it's through far, it's for farmers. So that approach is really nice, I think. Like all, during all these talks with the farmers, you derive what their problems are, what their questions are. And yeah, that's really important to take that uh, into account when you're analyzing the results and when you're um, yeah, designing policy implications that you take into account what the farmer wants, what the farmer needs, because he's the main participant of the whole process. As long as there is a good interaction between like the local technicians, the scientists of CIMIT, uh, the agriculturists of course themselves, and yeah, then uh, I think this system will, will be successful. So what I really, really like about CIMIT is that it's one, it's an international institution. So you come into touch with uh, lots of nationalities and that's really uh, mind opening as well personally as, uh, as uh, uh, for uh, business reasons. And also like uh, their global mission of to sustainable increase uh, uh, maize and uh, uh, wheat ren uh, rents, that's um, yeah, that's only a mission I can carry in my heart and uh, I really, really like the whole approach of CIMIT as an institution. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend other students to come to here. It's not only a great opportunity for your, uh, yeah, for your, uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, not a private life, but a work life. Professional life, Professional life yeah, because um, yeah, you really get into touch with all these people, all these scientists, all these equipment. It's yeah, it's a really great opportunity, but also for personal development because you meet all these new people, all these new places, and 
Yeah, it's really a thing that I only can recommend to other students to come to here. It's a, it's a mind-opening experience and it's, a, yeah, like they say, a once-in-a-lifetime experience.